This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. Are you sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmelita. Thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, I need to rescue that ringtail, so I can wring his neck. Ooh-wee, you are feisty. You remind me of this one little gal who... So, what's this prison like, anyway? Uh, well, plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going. Miss Carmelita, you didn't forget how to use that pistol, did you? Not a chance. I just oh. press the R1 button to pull the switch. And I can oh. Carmelita! Stuck in time with two coopers. Oh. Wait to give that ring tail a piece of my mind. Catch up with Cooper. I'm gonna kick his furry tail. <laughs> Let's sweep this sector, Tennessee. got me into this mess. Nice shooting, Carmelita! How about less sweet talk and more action? <laughs> Tennessee, it looks like you'll have to go on ahead. I'll find another way there.
the Tennessee kid! Tennessee! This way! <laughs> Missy! Looks like we got company, Miss Carmelita, and not the friendly town. Why don't you charge them? Get out of my way! We got attackers to the left! Maybe you can just focus on the mission, Tennessee. Hold steady, Tennessee! Bingo! Now that's what I call straight shooting! <laughs> Woo! Those steers up there mean business! Huh, that switch looks kinda important. Irritate me. On, gang. Tennessee's on the way. Tennessee, this way. I'll stay here and cover you. Are 
fighting with the wrong outlaw. <laughs> Carmelita, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. I should leave you in that cage after what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Well, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know... Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? We'll have to track it down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. When I saw that arrogant little, that no good lying, ooh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right up his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? <laughs> the flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case, and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk, or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. to be done about those Cooper characters. I don't like them skulking around my town or my mind. I better not hear about nothing going wrong with the plan. Better not. Oh, boy, you got funny look. Got something to say, huh? Something happened up at the mine? No? Good, because our older referee's partner. We don't take kindly to mistakes. And right now, we...
All right, thanks to the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling, but first, we're going to have to catch it, and we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key tracks which is we will need to throw, and Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen, Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wild Man is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. Alright, listen up, you flea bags. This here's the annual toothpick for all of them. Ain't no rules, except that if you want a shot at the champ, you gotta fight your way through the ranks first. Looks like we got ourselves a sucker. Yeah, I mean challenger. So let's get on with it. Fighting out of the pink corner from parts unknown. Because, you know... Don't say it! <laughs> that's how I roll. I feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Sly. You better get moving. <laughs> Ugh, even my tail is tired. Well, my time is running out! Come on, Sly! Get your back into it! Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? This definitely reminds me why I prefer picking pockets. Hurry up! The clock is ticking! 
This is the craziest race I've ever seen. That's it, Sly. Keep pushing. Just keep the ball spinning, Sly. We're in a time crunch here, Sly. Slow down now. Concentrate, it's just a little further. Oh, my legs feel like spaghetti. <laughs> so close, I can smell that finish line. Excellent, you got the key, Fly. Now scram. Well, that's it, folks. Looks like this year's champion is going to be... Wait! Wait! Hold everything! We got ourselves a latecomer! Let's see what this pretty little lady has got! Well, what have we here? Little lady, I know you can't be here to shoot, because there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose, you gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? Ay, this guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> I'm going to wipe the grin off this clown's face. This is gonna be easy. Big jerk how to shoot. It really helps if I pick this nice face on the targets. I just have to keep my focus. I could do this left hand. Don't call me top shot at Interpol for nothing. I'm going to wipe the grin off this clown's face. What the? This ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carbolita. Now grab that key. 